Hello, my presentation slides. Today, I'm going to be talking about this really awesome command line tool called Slides. And a few people have asked me about it because I've used it a few times and it's actually a pretty great tool. So what this does is it essentially takes a markdown file and turns it into a presentation. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put one together here really quickly. And there's gonna be a little bonus at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm gonna create a file, markdown file. Then I'm going to chmod plus x, that markdown file. And you will see why we need that uh, here in a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and open that up and it's empty. So we're just gonna go ahead and start from the top and just call it, you know, presentation. We'll start there. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do slides pres.md and you'll see right there that it's gonna open up our first slide. And if I move my head out of the way, you can see we got the slide number and we got the date and my name right over there. So this actually has hot reload, which is really nice. If I go ahead and save that, you can see it changes there. And I'm just gonna go through a couple features. We're just gonna do this real quick. So the first thing is you can do different headings. So here's heading two, and we're just gonna go ahead and go through, I think it goes to heading three, and I think it goes to heading four, but I'm not sure exactly how deep you can go with it. But those are your headings. Uh, you can also come in here and you can do, um, I believe you can do bullet points. So let's say foo, let's see how smart it is. Just as, as a trick here, I believe that will give us, yeah. That's so you don't have to keep change. You don't have to maintain the uh, the numbers. You just do one one one, and then it will automatically change it to one two three. So there's a little markdown trick for you guys. Um, all right, we also have. I believe we also have uh, italic, and I believe we have bold, and I believe we have underline. Wait, I can't remember how to do underline honestly. Yeah, I don't remember how to do underline. Well, in any case, you do italics and bolds. Um, and then you also can do code. So if I come in here and I say, let's call it, uh, this is gonna be some dark code. We're gonna come in and we'll say main and then print foo. It will go ahead and put in that dark code. Um, and this is basically it in a nutshell. I'm gonna go ahead and move these now to another slide. So let's come in here, we're just gonna say, you know, call this code blocks and uh, for, uh, yeah, I would say formatting, that's fine. Formatting and lists. Oh, I believe you can also do this as well. Foo bar vas. So there's your list, there's your formatting, those are your code blocks, okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually split this onto a new slide. So, cause this one's getting pretty long. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm just dropping three dashes like that. And now you can see it's split it into two slides. So I can come in here and we can do, you know, my next, my next slide. And then I'm just gonna click over here and you can do left and right. You can also do space bar and you can do uh, HJKL as well. So we're gonna to go to the next slide, and now I'm going to show you actually a pretty cool thing. So what we can also do here is um, we can actually run stuff from the command line directly into the slides. So uh, the cow says, and I bet you guys can guess what happens next. So we've got this guy set here, and then we do this guy here, and then we come in here and we say, cow say moo, and do a save. Hang on a second. Da, 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 da. Cow say. There we go. Cow say moo. Um, and then here's the bonus. We'll do this on the next one. So we're gonna do go to the next slide. And that slide is going to say, um, graph it, graph it. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to, again, one, two, three, and then we're gonna go one, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
and we're going to use graph easy. So graph easy, and I'll have a, I'll have a gist in the bottom that describes how to install it on Mac OS. Um, but basically with graph easy, you can start drawing graphs. So, you know, let's say foo goes to bar, right? and bar goes to Baz, and then Baz goes, goes to Foo. Boom, you got some basic graphs. So <clears throat> that's a very quick explanation of how to use slides um, and a few things you can do with it. And it gets pretty powerful pretty quickly. You know, I, I can make an argument pretty pretty easily that you know something like Excala Draw is going to be better for most cases, but if you just need to just crank out a presentation um, and it's simple, then this is actually a pretty good tool to use it, and you look like elite hacks or so that's never a bad thing. All right, thank you so much, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.